Good morning, Uganda. Welcome to the GMU Tourism Express. I always say that this is your destination to have, if you want to know anything about Uganda's tourism. Is it accommodation? Is it uh, travel activities, attractions, hotels, travel news, expos, trains, anything that you'd want to know about Uganda's tourism? This is the perfect time for you to always tune in and listen to what is happening in the world of travel in Uganda and East Africa at large. Well, today it is an interesting edition that we are having. It is not one of the usual ones that we have where you're used us taking you to those beautiful places that make us really the pearl of Africa. Today we are in a conversation with the Public Relations Officer of Uganda Tourism Board and talking about a particular, uh, a particular uh, expo that is happening on the 23rd to 25th of May 2024. This is the Pearl of Africa Tourism Expo. In short, it is Poverty 2024 that is happening. It is the eighth edition. It has been there. And one of the aims, it is pro to promote Uganda's tourism. Because Uganda, the mandate for Uganda Tourism Board is majorly one, to position Uganda as a universally acceptable tourism destination, both domestically and internationally. So the expo is one of the many ways that Uganda Tourism Board is supporting or putting out to see that that destination the Pearl of Africa is really out there and bringing in more uh, uh, tourists to the country. So today is, it is an interesting edition that you're going to know more about Powate 2024. Probably you've seen adverts running on your TV screens, you've seen them uh, maybe on social medias, X, Instagram, Facebook, and you're wondering what is really this about. So today you're going to have all the answers to know what is really happening. And with me, I'm with... Dr. Gesa Simplicius from Uganda, uh, from Uganda Tourism Board, the PRA, uh, to talk to us about poverty. Dr. Gesa, we, you're so welcome here. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm very glad to be hosted here in this show. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> indeed, poverty, when I talk about poverty, I get signals <laughs> of excitement because it is one of those signature events we have been waiting for for the whole year a lot of planning because one it gives our destination uganda publicity awareness because one we have very many unique selling points as a country yeah. in fact we are spoiled for choice as a country to understand what elements we should emphasize because we are exceedingly gifted. True. When you look at such expos in Kenya, East Africa, we have Magical, Magical Kenya, Kenya, we yes. have Kili Fair in Tanzania. So you see that it is just perfect for Uganda to have such an expo in the country. So Absolutely. please take us through the key objectives of Powate 2024. Uh, the key objectives of Powate 2024 you know, are many, but I'll scale down to three, four major objectives. One is to cause awareness, uh, publicity to the country. Mm. Uh, it is one of the unique selling points the country has through projecting all our tourism offerings. It brings a number of stakeholders, many trade visitors under one roof mm. with the sole purpose of understanding what does Uganda have to sell on our destination market. Mm -hmm. Because remember, tourism is a very competitive uh, thing, so it has a number of uh, cross-cutting points that need to be emphasized. Two, it is to bring business. It brings business to our local uh, tour companies. We have a number of uh, trade visitors that are coming to the country. These ones come to understand what our itineraries mm -hmm. are, where are the opportunities for growth? How do we bring in the visitor index to the country? But most importantly, even cause investments. We are, we are partner with our mm. local tour operators to cause investments. Three, it's important to increase the visitation numbers to the country because it is one of those points we have for shouting out loud mm. to uh, the global market. We have what we call hosted buyers. Hosted buyers come here with two key interests. Linking uh, our local tour operators to the source markets abroad that come with the visitors that come to this country. 
but also to develop itineraries, yeah, to know which routes. For example, if I wanted to go to Machishon, mm. what are the elements that I need to consider before I bring visitors to the country? So it helps draw those maps. Mm. But also bring in domestic tourism. We have what we call a consumer day, mm. where we call upon all our countrymen here to flock to Munyonyo, to come and see what areas uh, our tourism attractions are in, where are the packages that can help them go to these areas, but which companies to take advantage of, because you may want to book a tour, but when you don't understand who to approach, mm. but also earn good discounts, uh, as people who have gone to the trade fair, to understand which tour company can give me the most competitive rate that enables me to reach the national park or an area. Uh, just to cut you short there, Dr. Yeah. Gesa, uh, when you talked about Munyonyo, where the expo is going to be, why Munyonyo? Uh, Munyonyo has uh, the most recently inaugurated state of art convention center. Yes. Uh, uh, the one, the best so far in East Africa. Uh, it beats uh, in seating capacity and uh, a lot of uh, significant layout, mm. the one we have in Chigali, which had been at uh, the top. So right now, we have the most selling conversion center across East Africa and Africa at large. Okay. Yeah. So Munyonyo is going to offer space mm. that will house the entire exhibition. And it's a comfortable place, it's a beautiful mm. place. So it's a unique selling point for the country. Okay, that is interesting. Uh, that is it that we heard from Dr. Gesa, the PR, the head of PR at Uganda Tourism Board. Well, I should say that in Uganda, there are two arms of uh, tourism operation, are two, uh, agent marketing and digital marketing. And I think currently digital marketing is not so bad. So if you have digital marketing on one hand, and you can have agent marketing on the other, I think you can be able to lead the tourism sector and just be at the top as your tour company or hotel. So I think it is an opportunity for you to come and probably meet your next agent. That could be marketing for you in London, marketing for you in Turkey, marketing for you in all those beautiful countries where you would want to source your client. So it is an opportunity for you to show up at the Pearl of Africa Tourism Expo and open up doors that you never thought that you would. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you tomorrow.